Play against Hasselboy Desmartov to go through by unanimous decision. There, Desmartov, Rio Olympic gold medalist, winner of the Val Barker Trophy, and now the cage and returning to Aiba Elite International Competition for the first time since in this year's competition. So those two meeting in the first round was sensational, really. This is Deepak of India, beat Azad Usanaliyev of Kyrgyzstan by unanimous decision. Indian champion. Picked up a... Steve Masiyan will be of Zimbabwe. So here we go. There's the opening bell. Vivasin of Kazakhstan in the red there. Deepak of India in the blue. Vivasin of just boxing out of that southpaw stance, looking to try and crack off that one two early on. Towards the end of the session, this afternoon we saw some great displays of, of jabbing from fighters, demonstrations of how you win a fight, leading off with the jab, working off the jab. And it was just a reminder that, that that really is the most fundamental punch in boxing, even still. Bibasinov looking to throw that lead hand, flicking it up from low, as, as all those fighters we saw this afternoon did pretty much. Deepak just lands a right to the body there. First minute down. We've seen off who's taking the centre of the ring for the most part here. An Indian fighter kind of working around. Just fainting with the front foot. The jab there gets through from We've seen off. There just comes a little bit square as he came forward. Wade came, came forward a touch there too with the right hand. Of Deepak caught him. Nice one too there from Vibasinov. He can keep this on the outside if he can just get his distance right. Left of the body there from the Kazakh. There, Deepak. When he commits and really comes forward as well, that, that right foot, that back foot tends to come round a bit. Deserts that side on position and, and ends up standing a bit square. Took his feet in better that time, the right hand landed, turned southpaw briefly, then and chucked the left hand straight up the middle straight away. It's the final minute of round one, and this has been it's been pretty even. I'd say people seen off his He's had the better of it, probably. There's a nice one too, and that's why, really, because he's managed to snap the odd one of them through. There you go, that right hand there from Deepak. Slightly short. He just comes over the top of that front foot a bit. One, two into the chest there from Bibasinov. Right at the end of the round. On that a little bit. So four out of the five judges go the way of the red corner. Make you pay for that. There's a lot of Vaseline along that, along that eyebrow. I wonder if the referee is going to get a bit of that wiped off. No, he thinks that's okay. So into the second round, Deepak in the blue. Boxing for India. Bibasinov, Kazakhstan in the red. Again, there goes the jab. Rarely throws more than a three punch combination, Bibasinov. For him, that's jab, backhand, right to the body. Quite typical for the Kazakh fighters there. Generally looking for those kind of raiding missions. They've got good feet, always take their feet with them. That kind of wide stance that he's got there, Bibasinov, that's quite typical too. Get into range, quick hands. Jab, backhand, go to the body, and then pull those feet back out. People seen not just keeping Deepak occupied at the start of round two, not really giving the Indian much of a chance to get his punches off. 
left hand on the inside there from Vibasinov as Deepak did manage to make the first move that time. Nice jab there from the Indian fighter, but answered back by Vibasinov. He looks nice and sharp. He's not necessarily that tall for a flight weight, but he's got he's got a long reach, he's got long arms on him. There's that one two. towards the closing stages of round two. He's just giving himself a bit of room there, Bibasinov, for that reason exactly. So he's got enough space to try and work that one too. When you look at it, it's easy to think, or it would be easy to think that Deepak's backing him up, but he's not really, because Bibasinov's happy enough to give that ground. He's happy enough for Deepak to come onto him. The Indian fighter is just prodding forward with that front foot. But the fighter in red is... It's fine with it. There's three judges going for Bibasinov there, two going for Deepak and so that's crucial because it means that he's still very much in with a chance here. He's got to win this final round, he's got to win it on all of those drawn cards if you've been with us during the course of the last eight or nine days you'll have you'll have heard me say this loads of times because we've had quite a lot of fights that have had that exact formula going into the final round so he's got to win this final round Deepak with those three judges turn all of those drawn cards into wins for him and he goes through but we off still with a bit of work to do here Nice bit of body work, just pivoted around that front foot, completely changed the angle and banged in a couple to the body. Deepak just hurrying up those feet. Referee having a word about punching around the back of the head. Just gets caught square on the ropes there, really, for the first time almost, Bibasinov. Deepak just set his feet and looks to try and let his hands go. Just dips to his left there, the Indian fighter, looking to try and throw the right, but got caught by a nice one too as he opened out, then a, a right-hand lead. And he just offers up that head, Bibasinov, just leans in with it, makes you feel like he's, he's in range. But as I've said about plenty of fighters throughout the week, the weight actually is evenly distributed between those feet. He just hinges at the waist, leans in with the head, and he can pull it back whenever he needs to. So midway through the round, it's the third and final round, looking for the jab there then. Just short with the one-two and Deepak immediately looks to try and come back with the right hand and didn't quite land in himself either. Good left hand down the middle there from Vivasinov. And a nice quick combination there to a left of the body into the final minute. And another left of the body and another one. And he's finding the gaps here. Maybe feels that he just took his foot off the pedal slightly in the second round. Jab from the fighter in red. Who's up to it? He's up to the gear in the last 30, 40 seconds. Two, Vibasinov. Well, 
Well, there goes the fellow at the end, and the cat's like... Just waiting for the introductions in ring A. It's be completed, so these two have a few more seconds yet. So Bibasinov gets it by unanimous decision, made absolutely sure by taking that final round, 10 points to 9 on all five of those cards. So 